Hi, welcome back to Rob, Chef Robin's Corner. Uh, you probably noticed I haven't been around for a while. I had a very serious influenza virus. Most likely, likely flu, bird, and human. In the swine, bird, human, influenza A. You know, I live in the uh, this the CAFO factory farming country, so um, we're going to be more prone. I actually took a map of the influenza this year and of where the CAFOs are in the United States. And that's where the influenza is the most prevalent, where the CAFOs are. But I'm back, and one of the things that I learned, I believe Dr. Furman taught me this, was that uh, the body will actually use a virus to destroy weak cells and kind of clean you out. So I should be very cleaned out and in great shape. And that's good because I'm leaving for France next week. And we're, I'm going to be bringing videos. I'm be doing videos the whole time I'm in France. Of vegan restaurants and cooking and farmer's markets. So it's going to be a lot of fun and you all are going to get to see the videos. But today what I'm doing is I'm testing a recipe. You're going to get to watch me test a recipe. And this is for Dr. Furman's getaway in Newport Beach in May. And Dr. Furman likes everything to be completely whole foods. So I do a ginger pear, poached pear recipe. I had one that had a, was, I poached it in uh, apple cider. But Dr. Furman wants it all to be whole foods. So you're going to go with me and watch me actually develop a recipe. So let's start here with what I'm going to do for the poached pears. I've already sliced off the bottom of this one and I'm just going to peel it. With a vegetable peeler. Like this. And I cut off the end so it'll sit uh, and not fall over because you're going to serve it sitting up like this. And so what I'm going to, you want it to fit snugly in a pan. You don't want a lot of extra space. And I had to cut off a little bit more. I ate it's really a good pear. You want your pear to be just a firm but ripe. And these are some delicious, lovely organic pears. This is a, an uh, ingenue pear right here. And then the other one. I'll tell you what that is in a minute. It's very easy. You just peel it with a vegetable peeler. And that's going to fit snugly down in there. I have a red pear too. And this one is a Beaujeu red one. I haven't tasted this one, but I can tell. You want it to give a little bit. I can tell it's you know perfectly ripe because you don't want them too ripe or they'll be uh, kind of, you know, soft and mushy, which you don't want. And uh, you don't want them too hard, because then they won't be sweet enough. But these are just perfect. This one's a little firmer than the, the yellow one. And these fit snugly in this pan. Normally this little pan would hold four pairs. I would do normally do four pairs in this. But I'm just going to do two to test this recipe. I'm getting that peeled, and we'll slice off the bottom of it. This is a very simple recipe, and a very delicious recipe. Today I was out in the garden picking greens. We had a delicious dinner. We had a uh, turban squash cooked with lots of onion and sage, and then we had the steamed greens from the garden, fennel, we have mustard greens, all kinds of greens out there, wild greens, wild chickweed, and then we had, yeah, and then we had cannellini beans cooked with sage. So, okay, now I've got the two pears in here. As I said, we normally we could put four easily put four pears in here, but this will work just fine. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this apple. This is going to be a uh, apple ginger poached pears, and I'm just going to cut quarter of this apple. And 
it's all going to go into the Vitamix. Normally I eat the core, but I just don't want that because I'm trying to make kind of a slurry. Okay, so we'll just throw this apple in there. And now I've got some ginger. I'm going to cut off about, about that much ginger. About an inch, but this is a big wide piece here. And I'm just going to kind of cut off the outer skin. And I'm going to throw that in there into the Vitamix. And then what we want to do is we want to do about the equivalent of four diglet dates. And you know the diglets are the smaller ones that you get pitted from the store. Or you can do this if, they, if you have a Middle Eastern specialty store. You can get the date paste, which I've shown you all before. So that's again another size about size of the diglet date right there two and now mark are you doing any zoom in three and four and then it calls for are we going to do two cups of water going to subject you to the sound of the blender. So I'll be back in just a second. So this is blended. I blended it for probably about two minutes. And now I'm going to test it. I'm going to taste it to make sure it's the right taste. It's pretty good. Okay, so now I'm going to pour this over my pears. I'm going to zoom in on this. See, it's just a pureed slurry. Well, I couldn't quite get, but we're going to use that for the sauce. So now what I'm going to do is take this over to the stove, and I'm going to poach it. Okay, I think our, poached, our pears are poached. We just need to poach them for like 10 minutes or so. Oh, looky there. Now, bring them over here, we're going to take our little pears out and put them in this little dish and put them in the refrigerator to chill. Mm -hmm. Come on, little pear. Try to rinse off that kind of scum, apple scum. This one. There we go. Got this one. Now, I'm going to stick these in the refrigerator and then we will make the sauce. This is okay. This is going to be a green tea sauce. So, what I'm going to do is just pour this back in here. We've got some fresh because I had some extra. And now, oh, I need some, I need some spinach. Some green. Okay. And now I need a teaspoon. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I've got two thirds cup of raw cashews. Dump those in there. Uh, normally I'd, I'm out of hemp seeds, but normally I'd add some hemp seeds to it just for nutritional value. And uh, I'm going to do. one teaspoon of this green tea. This is matcha tea, green tea. Put that in there, one teaspoon of that. Maybe do it one and a half teaspoons. And you know how good that is for cancer. And now I'm gonna do three, three dates again.
two, three. Mark, what was I going to mention about the flu? Well, Chef Robin, you had said that you had not taken anything during your bout with the influenza A. Oh, that's right. I learned from Dr. Perman, when you get sick, when you get a cold or influenza, first thing you do is fast. Eat nothing. I ate nothing for four days. I couldn't have, I couldn't have eaten if I wanted to. But I did a complete water fast for four days. I had to force myself to drink water for two days. And I had a temperature between 102 and 103 for four days. So I fasted for four days. And then I started having just some vegetable juice, which I really couldn't do. I just had a very tiny amounts of things for another two days. And, uh, and still nothing, took nothing, no aspirin, nothing for this. I just wrote it out, slept a lot, and then finally I started being able to eat again and coming back. And so I am now biochemically much stronger than I was before I got that virus. So, so that's the good news. Okay, so now I have some ma frozen mango in there, and I'm going to put a little bit of green, uh, some spinach in here for green, and for, it's good for you. Okay, so now I'm going to blend this, and uh, I'll be back in a second. Our sauce is ready. Okay, let's have a little taste of this, since I've never made it quite like this before. We'll see what it tastes like. Oh my gosh, that's good. Mmm, that is really good. Good idea, Dr. Furman. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to serve up. I think Mark and I are going to have a little dessert. Farmer Mark. Does that sound good to you? That sounds downright tasty, Chef Ron. <coughs> Okay, so now what we're going to do is put some sauce on this. Look at that pretty green tea sauce. You want to zoom in on this, Farmer Mark? Mmm, mmm. We have a lot of extra sauce, but believe me, Farmer Mark makes good use of it. We can do all kinds of things with that sauce. Put it on, put it on breakfast. Put it on uh, some soaked steel cut oats with some fruit. Oh, that's so good. All kinds of things you can do with that. Now I'm going to just do some toasted coconut. Oh, isn't that pretty? And it also would look nice with some couple of slices of kiwi next to it. I don't happen. Actually, I do have a kiwi. Let me just see how that will look. Peel this little kiwi. Do this real fast. Actually, you don't even have to peel it. I think we will just slice it. The skin on a kiwi is just fine. As long as it's an organic kiwi. Zooming in. Look at that. Now, that, if you ask me, that is five star. So there you have it. And look at how nutrient dense this is. Let's just talk about what's in this poached pear. We've got fresh poached pears, an apple, some dates, some ginger root. Some green tea, mango, and oh, I did. I ended up doing a big handful of the spinach to get that green color because it was kind of brown. So, and a big handful of fresh spinach. I mean, this is nutrient dense, and it is five star quality, and it is oh so tasty good. Mark, you ready to have dessert? Sounds tasty good. Okay, see you next time at Chef Robin's Corner.